Day 2, Tuesday, June 9th, Christ Community Family, uh, our prayer prompt, our prayer topic today is prayer for justice. Monday was prayer of self-reflection, prayer of confession. Tuesday is prayer for justice. Now, justice is rooted in the very nature of God. Ecclesiastes 3 reminds us that in, in the place of judgment, wickedness was there. In the place of justice, wickedness was there. So in other words, we as people of faith are called to fight for justice for the, those who are experiencing injustice. We are called to fight for justice for the marginalized, for those that are oppressed. All across our country today, there are those who are hurting. There are those who are seeking justice. There are those who are seeking uh, right with the Lord. The African American community is hurting. The Asian American community is hurting. The Latino American community is hurting. The list can go on. There are many in fear right now in this in this country. There are many who want to seek justice in so many different ways. Let me share with you a few verses that the Bible says about justice. Amos chapter 5 says, But let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. When we pray for justice, we're not necessarily praying for just the legal, worldly justice. We're praying for God's righteousness to flow like an ever-flowing stream. If you are just praying for justice for a certain agenda, a specific topic, right, then, then you're missing the whole point of this biblical justice. When you pray for biblical justice, you're praying for God's righteousness to flow to the point where it's, it, it overwhelms you, to the point where it, oh, it, it encompasses your whole life. Romans chapter 12 reminds us, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Many times when we uh, wrestle with the topic of justice, we try to fight justice on our own. We try to, to make things just on our own. And whenever we fall short, right, whenever we have these mistakes and we feel guilty or what have you, we try to make things right, by, find, by, by doing it on our own. But this scripture is, is teaching us, this, this passage is reminding us for moments that actually it's, it's in the hands of the Lord. We have, in order to fight, find justice rather than do it on our own, we have to bring it to the Lord. That's what we're doing today. That's what we're, what we're doing this week. That's what we're doing as a church family. We're bringing these things to the Lord. We have brothers and sisters in Christ across our country right now that are fighting for justice. And of course, you know what? We can't stay silent, but we're bringing it to the Lord. Isaiah chapter 1 says, Learn to do good. Seek justice. Correct oppression. Bring justice to the fatherless. Plead the widow's case. And that's what we're doing. As people of faith, we're, we're praying prayers of justice for those who are marginalized, those who may have no voice, those who are seeking a voice. That's what we're doing when we're praying for justice. Micah 6 verse 8, something that's such a very famous uh, passage. He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? What does the Lord require of us, church family? To do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. When we're praying for justice, we're doing that out of kindness. When we're praying for justice, we're not doing this because we're being guilt-tripped or what have you. We're doing this because of the kindness of our heart that God has, give, give, has given unto us. When we pray for justice, we do it humbly because we don't have the right uh, mindset or words that we can do on our own. We need the Lord. We need the Lord to come like a rushing wind and pray uh, and, and just speak over us in our, in our prayers. So my uh, hope and uh, prayer, my challenge, church family, is that when we're, when we're praying for justice today, be reminded that justice is not necessarily, the, in the worldly sense, what we think of, but in the biblical sense of this righteousness with God, we need to bring it to the Lord. So let's, let's pray. And let's fight for justice for those who are seeking justice by bringing these requests to the Lord. God bless.